the Hashashin and the New Testament. In this video I will present quotations on the life of Hass on each Sabbath from the books Secret Societies of the Middle Ages by Thomas Keeley, and a history of secret societies by Arkham Darrell, which seem in most cases to parallel content from the New Testament too far too great a degree of similarity to be dismissed as coincidental. This first one is the most likely to be merely a case of coincidence. From Chapter 3 of Secret Societies of the Middle Ages, while Hassan lay in confinement at Damietta one of the towers of that city fell down without any apparent cause. This being looked upon in the light of a miracle by the partisans of Hassan and the Caliph, his enemies, to prevent his deriving any advantage from it, hurried him on board of a ship which was on the point of sailing for Africa. From the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 13, Verse 4, were those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell, and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men who dwelt in Jerusalem. The events which occupy the remainder of the paragraph, however, will be strikingly familiar to anyone acquainted with the Gospels and or the Book of Acts. Scarcely had the vessel put to sea when a violent tempest came on. The sea rolled mountains high, the thunder roared, and the lightning flamed. Terror laid hold on all who were aboard, save Hassan Saber who looked calm and undisturbed on the commotion of the elements, while others gazed with agony on the prospect of instant death. On being asked the cause of his tranquility he made answer, in imitation probably of St. Paul, Our Lord Seedness has promised me that no evil shall befall me. Shortly afterwards the storm fell and the sea grew calm. The crew and passengers now regarded him as a man under the especial favor of heaven, and when the strong west wind sprung up, and drove them to the coast of Syria, they offered no opposition to his leaving the vessel and going on short. Luke 8 22 through 25 Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose, and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid wondered, saying to one another, What manner of man is this? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 27 1 And when it was determined that we should sail unto Italy, they delivered Paul and certain other prisoners unto one named Julius. The centurion of Augustus banned twenty-one but after long abstinence, Paul stood in the midst of them, and said, Sirs, you should have hearkened unto me, and not have loosed from Crete, and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am, and whom I serve, saying Fear not, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and, lo, God has given you all them who sail with you. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God, that it will be even as it was told me. From a History of Secret Societies by Arkham Darrell The Ancient Art of Imposture, by Abdel Rahman of Damascus, gives away another trick of Hassan's. He had a deep, narrow pit sunk into the floor of his audience chamber. One of his disciples stood in this, in such a way that his head and neck alone were visible above the floor. Around the neck was placed a circular dish in two pieces which fitted together, with a hole in the middle. This gave the impression that there was a severed head on a metal plate standing on the floor. In order to make the scene more plausible if that is the word her son had some fresh blood poured around the head, on the plate. Now certain recruits were brought in tell them, commanded the chief, what thou hast seen, the disciple then described the delights of paradise. You have seen the head of a man who died, whom you all knew. I have reanimated him to speak with his own tongue. Later, the head was treacherously severed in real earnest, and stuck for some time somewhere that the faithful would see it. The effect of this conjuring trick plus murder increased the enthusiasm for martyrdom to the required degree. Matthew 14 8 through 12 And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent, 
and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was wrought in a charger, and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came, and took the body and buried it, and went and told Jesus. Luke 9 7 through 8 Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed, because that it was said of some, that John was risen from the dead, and of some, that Elijah had appeared, and of others that one of the old prophets was risen again. Again, from a history of secret societies Hassan reduced the original number of degrees of initiation from nine to the mystical number of seven. A similar number of regulations formed the rules of the order. This, in fact, comprised the working plan of the spreading of the faith. The first rule was that the missionary must know human psychology in such a way as to be able to select suitable people for admission to the cult, and what summed up in the knee monarch, cast no seeds upon rocks. Luke 8 5 through 8 The sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon the rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And others fell on good ground, and sprang up, and bare fruit an hundredfold. 